Hi, I'm Bethany Pridgen and I'm a forensic chemist. I'm here to talk about how you can become a forensic scientist. Most forensic scientists need to hold a bachelor's degree in some type of science, such as chemistry, biology, or physics, or some other biological or physical science. In addition to education, it's important to maintain certain types of personal traits, such as integrity, good speaking skills, and the ability to take notes and be able to explain what you've done properly to someone who may not understand what your job is. Because this field is so exciting and is growing so rapidly, it's becoming more and more competitive to become a forensic scientist. Therefore, you may be competing against people with master's degrees and PhDs for these jobs. So, in order to make yourself more competitive and you hold a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, you may want to consider having an internship while you're in school, um, volunteering with a local agency in their laboratory or in crime scene investigation, or you may want to pursue some type of research experience. Once you've obtained a job as a forensic scientist, typically you'll be assigned to a forensic laboratory in a variety of one of their sections. However, some forensic scientists are also assigned to work crime scene investigations. This is when you may be required to work hours, long, long hours and nights that you wouldn't expect to have to. However, if you're lucky enough to be assigned just to the laboratory, you may have your option, regardless of what your science degree is focused in, of working in DNA, toxicology, firearms examination, question documents, or even fingerprints. So those are just some pointers to help lead you to the right direction to become a forensic scientist.